What's going on to you, Libra? So you have the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Empress, which is Libra, Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. A lot of you Libras are just pretty much reflecting on the way that you used to be compared to now how you are. Um, you used to be very much so somebody that you didn't think would really get yourselves out of the situation that you're in. The life that you're in was just going to essentially be stuck the way that you the way that you live it. The Six of Swords and the uh, Empress represents, however... You seem to have crossed over to an entirely new quality of life. Your quality of your, of your life is very much so raised. You like how things are going at this point in time. You know, you like the fact that a lot of you Libras are picking and choosing. You know, and what I mean by that is you realize now that a lot of you don't have to be in relationships. And if people don't like you, if they don't want to be in a relationship with you, then pretty much it's okay. And the reason why I'm saying that is because... A lower Libra thinks that they have to be in a relationship because of Venus. So what will happen is you will get yourselves into one only to find out that the person is dysfunctional. But you feel so strongly to be in a relationship, but, but that, that want that you have to be in a relationship can lead you down a path sometimes of dysfunctionality because the quality the types of people that you interact with are not very good right and you just have this 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 desire this nudge this this calling to be in a relationship with somebody but not anymore a lot of you uh uh libras may still have that i don't know i'm not a libra i don't have libra anywhere in my chart but you may still have that but at the end of the day even though you may or you may not have that you're very much so in control, right? In the sense of you're very much so paying attention to the quality of the people that you meet. And again, not everybody can just show up to you looking like a rag doll and everything should be okay. No, a lot of you Libras are going to tell them no. Because that's one thing that a lot of you Libras need to actually get right about yourselves is your voice. Um, a lot of you Libras don't speak up on certain things because a lot of you are so interested in keeping peace. So you have to understand that Libra is the exact opposite sign of Aries. And Libra represents a person who knows when to flip the switch and when to put the genie back in the bottle. So as a result, a lot of you Libras have learned to tell people that you know are going to be bad for you. No. And the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, people have to really be functional and have to have something going on. They have to be plain Janes. They have to be plain Joes. What do I mean when I say plain Janes and plain Joes? People that are ordinary. These are decent people. Those are the best quality type people that everybody is striving to get. Quiet as is kept, including all the cool people wish those plain Janes, plain Joes was in their life. They do. And I can show and prove that. So the thing about it is, is that as a result, a lot of you Libras want that. You want to be plain Janes with a plain, uh, you want to be plain Janes or plain Joes with a plain Jane or a plain Joe. So the thing is that the, the three of cups, so that you don't have to worry about cheating. You don't have to worry about the games, right? Three of Cups represents cheating. You don't have to worry about cheating. You don't have to worry about, you know, the games and stuff like this or the potential people trying to put their hands on you, right? Maybe a lot of you Libras have went through a lot of cheating or something like that, you know? And, um, you know, you, you found it hard to kind of catch them in the act until they got sloppy or you heard it from their other, their significant other that they were also dating or hanging out with. But the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles now represents, so as a result, you're really in a situation where, <coughs> excuse me, you're really in a situation where you have something to offer and you know you do. 
but the three of pentacles you want solidarity the ace of pentacles represents what you can offer and bring to the table the three of pentacles like i said before it represents solidarity you want to understand that this person is your is your friend this person it's not just your friend this person is your romantic interest they are your friends they are a whole married they are a whole caveat of different attributes that mean so much to you they are your family right before you can really be with these people long term and you have to build up to that is what it's saying right years upon years you know the king of cups and the ace of pentacles is about well and and the thing is that that's the problem the problem is not a lot of people have too much to offer but the king of cups is about how you don't mind taking your time dating because you realize a lot of you Libras are realizing that there is something to this that you know it's not just it's not just about quantity it's about quality and that really serious talk not everybody you're supposed to hang out with like that long term you understand and you have to make very you have to start making very good choices otherwise if you start if you make terrible choices that will lead to another terrible choice right so let's clarify some of these cards let's clarify the empress right <clears throat> so the judgment the four of wands king of swords six of uh six of wands yeah like the judgment is about you know you may still have some people libra that would like to be with you again but again a lot of you libras just understand that you're not going to be with those people at all you're you're not you're you're really not there's no way that you're going to go back to the drawing board and be in those types of relationships that you were once in the four of wands and the king of swords is about how Again, you know, you're looking for something real. A lot of I just see a lot of you Libras being single. You're looking for something real. You're looking for, you know, to really establish, create a family. And the King of Swords really this is about and you're not going to just end up with anything. You know, like I said, any rag doll. You're not going to end up with just anything. It has to really make sense. And I don't mean I'm, I'm not just talking about financial sense, right? It has to make sense. The two of you actually have to be compatible. The two of you actually have to share internal value, right? Otherwise, it's not going to work. So the Six of Wands represents, um, and you'll have to leave them alone. But let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. To clarify the uh, page, you have the Emperor, the World, the Six of Swords, which you already have, the Two of Wands. Yeah, the Emperor is Aries, your exact op exact opposite sign. You Libras know good and well what it is that you're looking for. And you're going to allow people to expose themselves because you're just not going to come out and say what you want, right? So that people can be a chameleon shapeshift into what it is that they think that you want. When the opportunity presents itself, when, the, when you interact with people and you observe for yourself that they may be decent then you'll begin to hang out with them but that rapport has to be built upon the world and the six of swords represent otherwise if there's no rapport and they just want to move things super fast then obviously you're going to leave but the two of wands they won't be able to understand why 